there we go. On the worm. On the worm. We are out here with my buddy Nate from Southern Side Kayak Fishing. If you watch my channel, I'm sure you'll watch his. He's a huge kayak fisherman around here in Alabama, Mississippi, even Florida area. I'm actually here. I'm out of state. He got me a three-day license. I'm here to test this theory about worms and sheephead. Nate has a couple of videos on his channel, and I want to try it out for myself. I can catch some sheephead using some worms. You can get worms, you know, you can get it from Walmart. You can get it from Walmart at 12 o'clock at night sometime if they're open. They used to be open, but I don't know about now. But I'm gonna get this test. I mean, we all grew up using these, you know. This is where I first started fishing, you know, Bremen worms, Bremen crickets. So I'm gonna try to catch some of these uh these bridge monsters, bridge donkeys, using worms. I also got some fellow crabs just in case it doesn't work, because I don't wanna come all the way out here and not catch any fish. But we're out here, we got two bridges. We got the main bridge right here. We got the train trusser over here, just like we have over in Florida, over there in Milton, I-10 area. But these pylons look extremely big, thick. So there should be a ton of fish on them. So I'm pumped to get on here. See if we can catch some fish, guys. Gotta hook this worm on. I imagine I gotta break it in half. Not sure what that current's looking, current's looking like right now. Seems like it's moving pretty good. It does seem like it's ripping. It's definitely ripping. I'm just gonna thread this worm on here like so. And drop her down. Check my drag. And this is it, guys. I got worm on the hook. <laughs> this is wild to me. I haven't caught one on worms yet. I know people that have. I'm gonna see if I can make it happen. The current's ripping a little too much for me. But. Ripping current means fish. I might have to go on the other side because the current's ripping so fast right now. That current's ripping. Oh, now don't push me that way. Stupid current, do what I want you to do. There we go. On the worm. On the worm. Let's go. Guys, he ate the worm. He ate the worm. It's not a myth. It's facts. It's facts and it's a nice one. It's not a bad one at all. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he ate the worm. I can't believe it. He ate the freaking worm! Jeez, never in a million years I think this would work. Oh man, this is nice one too. It's about 18 inch right here. Let's go. I ain't never gonna flip rocks again for crabs ever. Look, look, I got it. The hook is in this corner of his mouth, right? Oh, he's flopping and flipping. Give him a second. All right, you lint liquor. But you can obviously see the worm in the corner of his mouth. Look at that. He ate worms, guys. Worms. I can't believe it. Look at this. I got to get a picture. This mug done ate some, some night crawlers, guys. Some night crawlers. Guys, there's the worms. There's a birds of prey sheephead jig. I'm on the bridge with my buddy Nate. 
and he just ate worms. I am so shocked this worked. I mean, I was not expecting this at all. This is insane. And he's a decent sheephead too. That is a quality sheephead up there. Let's go, baby. Still got worm from the last one. It's got eight the worms on the birds of prey jig. It's absolutely insane. Gonna thread this bad boy on there like so. And these things are far more cheaper than crabs. Now, just a theory of mine. I'm not sure how well this is, but like over here in my area in Florida, <clears throat> excuse me, the water's a lot clearer. So this method would probably work a lot better closer to the river mouse, you know, uh, like uh, I-10 bridge or maybe even three mile when it's dirty. I think the dirty water is better. Um, definitely gonna give it a try here when I move, go back to Florida, but this is what I'm using. Oh. He ain't that big, but he's still sheep on the worms, guys. Little guy. The worms do work. Itty bitty. Check this out. Oh, these things are some spiny little burgers. But look, worms right there. I can't believe this is actually working. A little sheep head on the worms. Go let this bad boy go. Don't splash me. And he's gone. Let's put another worm on. So the bite slowed down a little bit. So I decided to put some fiddler crabs on the birds of prey jig head and dropped it down. And not by surprise, I had an instant hookup. These fish were fired up. I need that net. I will need my net. Guys, I just dropped this instantly down and hooked up. He's acting like he's big. I don't think he's that big though. Yeah, I've been fooled before. Okay, he might he might he might have grown a little bit. No, I don't think he's that big. Definitely a keeper, but these things fight so hard they dig straight to the bottom. It's like an inshore snapper. Boy, I'm an athlete. Can you see that, guys? You guys see that? Straight athlete over here. Sign me up. Sign me up. Sign. Oh, he's decent. That's. He's a good sheep. You go net for the win. Let's go. This guy actually ate crabs. Actually, that's a really good sheep head. I may lie to you, that's a good one. <clears throat> He's probably right at 19. Ah, look at that mouth. Look at that mouth on that thing. Absolute tank. Ate the birds of prey sheep head jig. That's actually the midnight color blue. I like the darker colors myself, especially when I'm fishing dirty water. A lot of colors in clearer water, you know. Gotta match the hatch. Here it is. That's the second keeper of the day. I caught two smaller ones on worms. I was actually about to switch over the worms since I dropped that down and instantly hooked up. I'm probably gonna keep him too. I'm only gonna keep a couple today. I'll probably keep three. Ain't no more. You don't need no more than that. Oh, I'm getting the bite already, guys. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. That's these sheep head there. <clears throat> they are very good at getting a bait off your hook. They are straight up thieves. Let's drop this guy down again. Now the bite's been kind of slow today, new area. Nate usually tells me it's usually on fire, but I am using a bait that's, how do you say, uh, <clears throat> usually like, <laughs> it's not your typical bait, it's something different. But I'm now dropping crabs. It seems like they like that a lot better. 
than worms. Worms is definitely a good buy by option. I caught two, uh, three decent sheep off the worms. Just the bite's just a little slower. Dropping these crabs down, it's almost instant, but I guess it depends on the area you're at. Yeah. I just missed one. Just missed one. I'm gonna wipe this lens off because I see it's dirty. There we go. Yep, just missed another one. Probably a smaller one. This spot is definitely a good spot for sheep. This place is loaded with them. Absolutely loaded. I'm on. There we go. Fish on. That's another decent fish. He ain't that big. Yeah, he's a little itty bitty guy. Still another fish, regardless. This guy might have been just hatched this year. He's so small. He's just a little baby. Ah, but he's still a good fight. These things fight so good. Another beautiful shape. He's probably 11, 12 inches. Go let him go. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I'm gonna just crap this whole show. I hate when I do that. Because they don't stay on too long. After that. Let's go on this side. Let's go all right inside here. I came in like a wrecking ball. I hope I didn't drop my crab. It is about 15 foot deep. That was, that was quick. That was real quick, as soon as I dropped it down. Another tiny guy. Guys, these guys are loaded over here. Loaded. So small, he came pull drag. But that's fish number six for me so far. Open him up, buddy, so I can get it out. There we go. There we go. Another sheephead. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I appreciate you. It's a pretty jake head. Gonna drop it down this pylon. You see how long it takes me to catch a fish. It's about 14 foot in here. All right, I am on bottom. I'm already getting bit. Oh, missed him. Missed him. He crunched one of the crabs off. Let's try it again. <clears throat> All right, dropping these crabs down. Let's see how long it takes. There we go. That was quick. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh, I'm in trouble. Help me, Tom Cruise. Help me, Tom Cruise. Nope, nope. Come on out, come on out. Yep, oh, come on, come on. Oh no, oh no. There he is, he's right there. That's a good fish, guys. I did not expect this, that is a decent fish. Tighten that drag up just a hair. Just to, oh, oh, that's a good one. Come here, come to Pepe. Oh, it's the biggest one of the day. That is an absolute tank. Swing him to me. No. No. Let's go. That's a good one right there, buddy. It went down there 30 seconds until he got thumped. Ooh. Biggest one of the day. Let's go. Oh dang, he about to jump up the kayak. Hey buddy. He ain't, he ain't staying still. Alright, I'm gonna get this Birds of Prey jig off. Alright. 
All right, guys, this is the, probably the biggest one of the day. He ain't letting me grab him. He's being hard-headed. Biggest one of the day. Watch out these spines. They're very dangerous. He's probably like 20, maybe 21. He's definitely going to get the release. These big ones like here are breeders. I'm always going to let the release the ones that are over 20 go. Keep the population healthy. Big fish. Look how thick he is. Thanks, buddy. Flopped out of my hands. You can never get a graceful release out of here. But that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll be doing a lot more videos like this it is sheep head season so you know you're gonna find me around these bridges looking for these bridge donkeys so until until then see you guys next time